Good morning children. I hope you were able to complete this the exercise of this chapter 4 chapter 4 energy. Let's discuss the answers of for this exercise now. Please turn to page number 77. Page number 77 in your book. I'll be quickly telling the answers. You can just check it with the answers you have written. Okay, we'll start with fill in the blanks. First one, work done is zero. Answer is zero. Second one, joule. Third one, force into displacement in the direction of force. It is very important to write in the direction of force. If you don't write this, marks will be cut. So make sure you write the whole thing. Displacement in the direction of force. Fourth one, potential. Fifth one, kinetic. Sixth one, again potential, energy. Seventh, you can just cut it off. Oscillating pendulum, we didn't do. Eighth one, power. Coming to one word answer. First one, kinetic. Second, potential. Third, work done. Fourth, power. Fifth, potential. Okay, and I'm sure you were able to do all this. They are, you have the answers directly in the book. Few questions which are little bit indirect. I'll just discuss those answers. Question number 11. How does kinetic energy of an object change if its mass is doubled and its speed is doubled. So how to solve this? So it's given how does kinetic energy change if its mass is doubled? Okay, it's 11th question. So mass is doubled. A part. So what's the formula for kinetic energy? Half m v square. Now M, mass is doubled means m becomes 2m. Okay, So half into 2m into v square. So just take this 2 outside. So you have, you could have cut this but I want to keep half m v square because that's the original kinetic energy. So kinetic energy increases by 2 times. So when the mass is doubled, kinetic energy will also increase by 2 times. B part, speed is doubled. Okay, Speed is doubled. That means velocity becomes 2V. So what happens to your kinetic energy formula? Half into M into, instead of V you will write 2V the whole square. Okay, 2v the whole square. So it will become half into m 2 square that is 4 v square. So just take this extra term outside. So 4 into half m v square. So the conclusion is kinetic energy increases by 4 times. Okay, so if it is mass, if mass is increased by 2 times, Kinetic energy also by 2 times. But if it is speed, if speed is increased by 2 times, kinetic energy will increase by square of that number that is 4 times. Suppose if in the question it is given speed increases by 3 times, then kinetic energy would have increased by 3 square that is 9 times. So this is how you have to answer this question. You can note down in your notebook. Now, coming to 13th question, what form of energy is possessed? Water flowing in a river, kinetic energy. Bird sitting on the top of a tree, potential energy. Compressed spring, potential. Ball rolling on a smooth floor, kinetic. Aeroplane in flight has both potential and kinetic. Why? Because it's moving, it has kinetic. Because it is at a height, it will have potential. So, the answer should be potential energy and kinetic energy. 
a metro train passing through an underground tunnel again kinetic energy now come to the 16th question two toy cars a and b of masses 100 g and 200 g are moving with the same speed on a smooth surface which of the two has greater kinetic energy so you will use this so toy a's mass is 100 g toy b's mass is 200 g so toy b kinetic energy of toy b is greater than kinetic energy of toy a why mass of because mass of toy kinetic energy of toy b is greater than kinetic energy of toy a because mass of toy b is greater than mass of toy a okay more the mass more the kinetic energy so based on this you are concluding that kinetic energy of toy b will be greater than kinetic energy of toy a that will be the answer since okay. then coming to 21st question you can uh, cut it off we have not done oscillating pendulum so you need not write this answer come to true or false first one is false first one is false rest all are true okay first one is false rest all are true you can cut off the seventh one that is also not in the syllabus so cut off the seventh one first one is false so the right answer will be a child sitting on the back seat of a car is not doing work okay come to match the following so the answers are 4 3 6 1 and 5 they are very simple i am sure you would have got it now coming to give reasons the first three answers are there in the book but for 4 5 and 6 the answers are not there directly in the book so i would like to explain it fourth question a nail penetrates deeper into a wooden board when a heavier hammer strikes it so the answer will be like this because the heavier hammer will have more potential energy so more the mass more the potential energy because it's going to have more potential energy it's going to hit the nail deeper okay then fifth one a horse has more kinetic energy than a dog running at the same speed this one also same so answer will be because horse horse is heavier than dog so it has more kinetic energy coming to the sixth one power is more if work is performed in lesser time the answer will be like this you write the formula for power we know that power is equal to work done upon time now because time is in the denominator if you take more time that means you have less power okay because of this formula we can say that power is more if work is performed in a lesser time if less time taken is less then power of the body is more so based on this formula we get this conclusion now come to the numericals i'll quickly tell the answer you can keep keep checking it okay the answer for the first one is 400 joule second one 2 lakh 40000 joule third one 5400 joule fourth one 15 meter Fifth one five forty joule. Sixth two thousand five hundred joule. Seventh one hundred and ninety two joule. Eighth four hundred joule. Ninth eight hundred joule. Tenth three seventy five joule. Eleventh one thousand four hundred and forty joule. now 12th one you have not done let's 
try to do it now. Okay, let's read the question first. A stone of mass 2 kg is allowed to fall freely from the top of a cliff of height 60 meter. What is the kinetic energy of the stone when it just reaches the ground? So the stone was first at a height. So what energy will it have? Potential energy. Okay, because it was at the top of a cliff, initially it would have had potential energy. Formula is m into g into h. Now what is the mass? 2 g 10 and h 60. So answer will be 2 6 are 12 0 0 joule. Now that this was the potential energy with which the stone was coming down. Now what is the kinetic energy of the stone when it just reaches the ground? We saw law of conservation of energy which says the potential energy at the top uh, when the ball was at a height will be equal to the kinetic energy at the bottom. When it reaches the bottom it will be moving so it will have a kinetic energy that will be equal to potential energy at top. So kinetic energy at bottom I can just write it also equal to 1200 joule. Now this is the main reason based on law of conservation of energy. So the answer is 1200 joule. Coming to 13th question, answer will be 90 watt, 14, 18,000 joule and then 15th again you have not done, we will be doing it. I will do it for you. Monty takes 2 minutes to raise a load of 15 gram from the ground to 3rd floor of a building, pin 2 takes 1.5 minutes to complete the same job. Compare with the work done and powers of Monty and pin 2. I want you to add these things of height 15 meter. After this third floor, please add this of height 15 meter. And also take um, at the end get, right take g is equal to 10 meter per second square. Okay, now how to solve this question? So we have so we have two cases. One is Monty, the other one is Pintu. Okay, both have to carry, do the same work. Okay. Both have to carry the same work. Okay. Both have to carry a mass of 15 kg through a height of 15 meter and G is 10 meter per second square. Same thing for Pintu also. He has to carry a mass of 15 kg through a height of 15 meter and g is 10 meter per second square. So first a part we have to compare the work done. Okay, So we have to find the work done by Monty first. So work done by Monty will be mgh that is 15 into 15 into 10. So 15 15 are 225 0. So this much is the work done and Work done by pin 2 will be also the same 15 into 15 into 10 that is 2250 50 joule. Okay, so now they've asked you to compare. So, whenever they ask you to compare, means they're asking you to find the ratio. So, we have to find the ratio of work done by Monty upon work done by pin 2. So you will have 2250 upon 2250 both being same your answer will be 1 is to 1. 1 ratio 1. Okay. Now come to the B part. For doing the B part we have to find the power. For that time is involved. Monty is finishing this work in how much time? Two minutes. 
and pin 2 is finishing this work in 1.5 minutes. Let's convert it into seconds. So 1.5 into 60 that will be 90 seconds. Okay. And 2 minutes is 2 into 60 that is 120 seconds. Now power of Monty will be 2250 upon 120 work done upon time. So work done is this time is this. So you cut it and then if you cut by 3 you would have got 75 by 4 watt. And then power, power of pin 2 will be again 2250 upon 90. The time taken is 90. So again you cut it and cut it by 3 you have 73 by 3 watt. Again we have to find the they have asked us to compare that means we have to find the ratio. So power of Monty upon power of pin 2 which will be equal to 750 sorry 75 upon 4 upon 73 upon 3 sorry 75 upon 3 75 upon 3 so you will have 75 by 4 into 3 by 75 because this comes to the numerator and I take a reciprocal. So, the 75, 75 will get cut. So, the answer will be 3 is to 4. So, work, the comparison, the work done, uh, the work done is 1 is to 1, ratio of work done and ratio of power is 3 is to 4. That will be the answer. Okay, I think multiple choice questions were quite easy. You should have done them by yourself. Now children, have, having completed this chapter, we will be having a test of this whole chapter on coming Thursday. Okay. That is 7th May. 7th May. Okay. You will be having a written test of the whole chapter. You prepare thoroughly all the exercise. Okay. Question answers, everything you prepare and you will have a test on this. Thank you.